Here's example three with logarithmic differentiation. Uh, we want to find y primed, and we're given that y equals cosine of x raised to the tangent of x. So that's an extremely strange function, um, one you're not really likely to encounter ever. But uh, it is good to see how stuff like this will work, because it's, it's going to be a little more complicated than what we've done before. Um, but working through this will kind of help you see uh, how the process works um, for something more complicated. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Um, and the first step is the same. Since y is already by itself, we just take a natural log of both sides. So natural log of y equals natural log of cosine of x to the tangent of x. Okay. And we'll put square brackets just to make it easier to see what's happening. Um, now the second step uh, is always to use that pre-calculus power rule for logs that says you can take the exponent out and write it as a factor. So natural log of y on the left still, and then we have tangent of x times natural log of cosine of x. Okay. Now we can take a derivative of both sides, and I should have left myself more room. Okay, so we take a derivative of both sides with respect to x, and um, we have d dx of the left equals d dx of the right. Okay. So um, again, just think about the chain rule. When you do logarithmic differentiation, just think of it as chain rule, because it pretty much is the chain rule. It's what it is. So we'll just do it like that. Um, derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay. So that's the left side. Now on the right side, we just have a normal product rule um, with goofy functions. That's okay. Uh, so this, okay, this tangent of x is our first, natural log cosine of x is the second, so the product uh, rule says the derivative of that product is going to be derivative of the first times the second. Okay, um, the first is tangent of x, remember the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x, so this is derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So the second is natural log of cosine of x, um, and the chain rule says the derivative of that's going to be uh, 1 over cosine of x times negative sine of x. So remember, uh, chain rule says derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing multiplied by the derivative of that thing. Okay, And these parentheses we really should have because we have a minus sign in here. Um, okay, so again, that's from the chain rule, uh, natural log of a thing, so the derivative is 1 over the thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay, so that's that. Now we can simplify a little bit here. Um, 1 over y times y primed equals secant squared of x times natural log of cosine of x, and then plus, um, actually, let's instead of a plus, let's just make that a minus sign because um, we have plus tangent times blah 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 times a minus sign in here. So we'll just say minus. Uh, now we have tangent of x. Now what's going on here? 1 over cosine times a sine of x. Um, that's really sine divided by cosine, which is tangent. So what we really have is tangent times another tangent. Okay? So it's really tangent squared of x. And remember, this minus sign comes from this minus sign right here. Okay? So that's uh, how that simplifies there. And that's kind of nice. So now we just multiply both sides by y. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, y primed equals secant squared of x times natural log of cosine of x minus tangent squared of x. That whole thing, okay, parentheses around everything, uh, that whole thing is being multiplied by y. And again, we're not done yet. Um, we got to go back to the beginning. Say, oh, okay, y is this function of x. So we're going to take this function of x and uh, shove it back on into here, and that's going to give us y primed equals secant squared of x times natural log of cosine of x minus tangent squared of x, uh, parentheses around all of that, and that's all being multiplied by y, but remember y is cosine of x to the tangent of x. So cosine of x, whoops, not sure why I did that, uh, cosine of x to the tangent of x. Okay? And uh, that's our derivative. Okay, y primed equals this mess here. 
So secant squared of x times ln cosine of x minus tan squared of x, multiple, all that multiplied by cosine of x to the tangent of x. So, um, you know, we started with this function that's kind of goofy, but not really too complicated, right? Um, and its derivative is kind of this nasty mess here, which again isn't really too bad, but it looks a lot more complicated than the original function. Um, and again, that's pretty much what happens with logarithmic differentiation. So that's example three.